Hey everyone. So I am doing a review on a product that I am not even sure if you can still get. You'll find out what I mean in a second. But this is for a handmade soap company located in my home state of Virginia. The name of the company is Emollients. And of course, it'll be in the title of this video as well as in the description box along with links and social um, media information, all of that for the company so that you can connect with them and see what they're doing for yourselves. Now, I'm going to put up the card for the company so that you can see it. As you can see, Emollients, M-A-U-L-L -L is how the owner spells her last name, which is um, the wordplay that she put there in the name of her company. And this is the information here, which I'm guessing is okay to share, even though they're on hold right now. Um, and I'll explain that in just a sec. But um, last year, uh, let's see, summer of 2021, I went to a family reunion and these were being sold there because um, there was a segment where family could offer products to one another um, or share their businesses with one another. Now, as it turns out, um, Michelle is a very, very distant relative. I'd never met her before. And so it was exciting to meet her, but it was even more exciting that she sold something that I love, which is soap. I love a handmade soap. I love the smell. Um, even though my face is sensitive, the rest of me really isn't as far as skin on my body. So I can use crafted soaps like this and not have any kind of um, bad reaction as a general rule. That's not an absolute, and I'll tell you more about that in a second. But I met her summertime, and then when I went to film this video, I um, checked the social media for the company and saw that they were on hold indefinitely. So when this goes live, I'm not sure if they will be back at um, making these, but if they are, then great. If they're not, you can still reach out to the company to see if they have any stock left over in any of the scents. I bought five bars and I used up one completely and it lasted a good while. Um, it lasted, oh gosh, several weeks. It was a nice size bar though. Um, so it lasted quite a while. Um, I should have kept track of the days. I'm sorry. I didn't think about it. I was just using it and enjoying the scent. It leaves a very light scent on the skin that complements a lot of my perfumes well. But of course, if you um, have a scent um, that you prefer, it helps if it kind of goes along with the soap. In any case, I'll tell you the scents I got. This one, um, it doesn't have the label. It just has the card on it. But this is Satsuma. I remember it. I remember falling in love with the smell. If you are familiar with Satsuma from the body shop, oh, this smells just like it. Just a really nice citrusy smell, beautiful smell. And this was the size of the bar. This was, um, I believe this one was um, $5. I believe these were two for 10 at this size. And I think, yes, this was two of these bars for $10. And then I got some smaller bars. And so this one is, um, the scent is Orange Crush. And it smells slightly orangey, but it smells a little more soapy to me, if that makes sense. It doesn't to me as I say it. But um, yeah, um, this one, some of the orange smell isn't as potent as it was when I got it. But I like orange as a general rule. I'm going to read off the ingredients to this in a second after I tell you the um, scents. Now, this is lavender, which I can still smell through the package. Really nice, um, clean smelling product. And then cranberry orange, which is cranberry. Ooh, I can still smell the cranberry very strong. And you can smell the orange too. Now, these were three for $10 when I got them. Now, um, the ingredients in each of these bars include oils such as coconut oil, shea butter, um, olive, as well as the essential oil used to fragrance it. Um, kaolin clay, which um, kaolin is a type of clay that's really good for cleansing, good for, um, for those that believe impurities being drawn out. Kaolin is great for that. It's a very common ingredient for skin mask. Distilled water and body safe colorant. So um, just something to give it a little bit of color so that it's not so 
um, plain and so that you can kind of tell them apart when you haven't, when you're not looking at the labels. So you can tell them apart. This is the cranberry, this is the lavender, this is the orange. And this of course is Satsuma, which still smells amazing. So here's my reaction to it. I used a different one. I believe it was oatmeal something. I can't remember the scent. Um, but, and I would look it up, but the site doesn't have the full menu up there anymore. So I used the oatmeal bar. Like I said, I used it for several weeks until I had used it up and it was fantastic. It lathered beautifully. I didn't need a lot of it. It smelled really nice and light and it didn't clash with my fragrances. It didn't leave my skin overly dry, which was really great. Um, did I have to moisturize after? Sure. It's not a lotion bar. It is a cleanser. So I didn't expect it to leave my skin feeling oily in any way. I want it to feel clean and I didn't plan on it doing a lot of moisturizing. So I had very reasonable expectations, I think, of the product. And so... I thought the prices were great. I love that they were handmade. As I talked to Michelle, she mentioned that she only makes her soaps when she is in a good headspace. And I could see that. I could feel it. Like these felt like they were handcrafted with love. They felt very much like a very intentional act done when you're feeling good. And so I liked these soaps. Oh, I hope they start making them again. I say, if you're interested in supporting a small business, and like I mentioned, this is from my home state of Virginia. Um, if you're interested in supporting a small business, drop Michelle a line over at her um, social media or um, in her, I think she has her email listed as well. Yes, there's an email here. I'll put it in the description box where you can reach out to her and see what she has, see if she plans on starting the business again. I'll actually be asking her the same question. And once this video goes live, I will share it with her certainly so that she can let others know that I had a wonderful experience with the products and buying them. Um, I love that the product um, smells nice, works well, was a reasonably priced product and handcrafted with all natural ingredients really is a great setup. If you like those um, chain stores that specialize in soaps, I feel like your time would be, your time and your money would be better spent supporting a local business where the money is going directly to helping someone. Sure, you can buy from those main places and yes, you will be helping the workers who work in those stores, but I really love artisan items, artisan soaps, handcrafted things that are beautiful and that um, allow you to experience luxury at an affordable price, but also to support your local economy. So even if you don't support emollients, I recommend you do, but if you don't support them either because they're sold out of products completely or they haven't reopened, whatever the case may be, definitely seek out local crafters of things that you commonly use and find something within your price range and support faithfully. I have some more products I'll be buying, including a perfume from a local perfumer. I'm really excited about that. And I'll be ordering that pretty soon. I hope to have it um, within a matter of a few weeks of this video going live. And I'm looking forward to a few other try-ons and trials so that I can hopefully bring a little bit of a spotlight over here on my corner of the web to those various um, crafters and artisans that deserve attention for the good work that they do. So that's it for today. All about emollient soaps. Highly recommend it. Reach out to them, see what they have left, see if they have resumed operations as of the publishing of this video or whenever you see it. Um, and I'll be reaching out to them too to see if they plan on ever reopening. So I hope you all have a great day or evening wherever you are and take care.